Hey, yo, Omni Dogs and Omni Kittens. It's Omni Dog here. How's it going? We're here to talk about essential collected editions and graphic novels for September 2020. Thank goodness this year's almost over. Let's get to December 31st. Crying out loud. Um, these are, of course, the books that I think, this is sort of my uh, caveat here. These are the books that I think uh, you will find interesting or that I will find interesting. So you may not see your book there. Uh, it doesn't mean I don't dislike it. It just means it didn't pop up to me enough to get my attention. Sorry about that. I apologize. It doesn't mean anything. And the other thing is, is that I guess about 90% of these books will come out on the date uh, that I think they will. It's always possible that at the very last minute, they get pushed back a week. Uh, that's the time we're living in in 2020. Uh, it's the way it goes. We eventually get the books. So everybody, I know, be grateful. We're still getting our books, which is pretty amazing, I think, that we're still getting books. Um, so let's see what we have for the first week, September 2nd. Uh, let's see. I will share my screen. Okay. And there it is. Uh, green arrow. Um, this is the Mike Grell omnibus. It's like 1500 pages. It's already out in some places. Some people already have theirs. Uh, in stock trades. I don't think is getting it till this week, which is where I get my books. Uh, I'm not sure I'm getting it. Not a huge Green Arrow fan, not a big Mike Grell fan. So you can see my dilemma here, but I did like Long Bow Hunters, uh, even though I called it Rainbow Hunters accidentally yesterday. Um, and a lot of people vouch for this. They think it's really great. So I, mm, it's gonna be a last minute decision for me. Uh, and I may wait a while. It's awfully big, and I I don't know. I'm glad it's coming out for people who really like it. I'm just not sure it's going to be me yet, but here it is for you guys. Um, Flash Savage Velocity, that is the period when Wally West took over right after Crisis on Infinite Earths. I know virtually nothing about this because... Uh, I'm a Barry Allen guy. That's who my flash was. Um, but I think a lot of people are interested in these stories. And so that's why I brought it up. This is the second, uh, September 2nd, when these this one becomes available. So this is right after uh, Crisis on Infinite Earths when Wally becomes the flash. This is Wolverine. Uh, the reprint of the reprint. It went out of... Um, stock really quickly in the spring so it's coming back and here's your chance to get it again and there's two um covers to this this is the regular cover the dm um is a different cover one i didn't i don't know this one appealed to me more but if, if you like the other one good for you get it you should that's what dms are for um another book that went out of print really quickly jms spider-man uh, number one omnibus, the first omnibus, has three different covers. All three covers are really cool. So this is where your dilemma is going to be, which cover to get. Uh, I'm keeping mine, my best of Spider-Man series, all the oversized hardcovers, but I don't know which cover I'd pick. That's a tough one. The, the cover art is really good on all three versions of this. Uh, Cloak and Dagger... <laughs> I know nothing about them, but it's an omnibus that's coming out from Marvel. I imagine some people that know Cloak and Dagger are excited about it. Um, the premise to me sounds cool. The characters sound cool. This is the kind of thing that suckers me in. Like, hmm, we've, we've got two interesting characters, lightness, darkness, something's going on, Cloak and Dagger. Um, this will be the kind of thing that sucks me in. Whereas Mike Grell and everybody says it's great. I leave sitting in the in IST's warehouse and then I go for this. But um, I here it is, and I'm I might get it. I don't know yet. 
Uh, I I am going to get this. This is Black Widow's first. This is the DM version of Black Widow's first appearances. Um, and I, I like the idea of these appearances because a lot of them are um, two and three issue appearance uh, appearances. Uh, so you get more of a story. Like she was, I think, first in uh, whatever Iron Man was in at the time journey into premiere presents or whatever and black widow shows up with a black veil and high heels and a short skirt on and she's the spy and now she's transitioned into this leather clad ass kicking spy and uh super smart and super fast kung fu action everything else so um I think there's a lot of stories in this as opposed to just one shots that don't necessarily tie together. So that's why I'm thinking about getting it. This I'm not so sure about this cover yet. I want to see what the other cover looks like. I couldn't find it. Um, uh, and um, I don't know. It's probably tales of suspense 55. No, that sounds like Thanos's first appearance. Uh, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Black Widow's first appearance. It's that, and then then on. And there are even a couple of graphic novels, I think, or maybe short stories in this book that make it worth a read. So I think this is worthwhile. Uh, now, this is already out in a lot of places. Um, Batman by Grant Morrison, Omnibus 3. I'm definitely getting this. Um, it It's already out. I, I usually get my books from In Stock Trades here in the US uh, and they it got pushed back a week like uh, this book, which I've been waiting my whole life for, Wrath of the Spectre, which is going to be great. Whenever I get it, I'm dropping everything and doing an overview and review because I've read these stories a million times. I still have some of the early Spectres with um, uh, Murphy Anderson and Neil Adams art and Carmen Infantino covers and stuff. And so, yeah, I am extremely excited about this. The Michael Fleischer stories are completely off the wall, gory graphic. So yeah, I'm uh, excited to be, um, I'm gonna make a video of this as soon as I get it. And so that is the first week of September, what's released on September 2nd, 2020. Here is Absolute Carnage. This is what gets released on September 9th, the following week. Uh, my friends uh, Lou from uh, Comics Guide 101 and Riley, the Omnibus Collector, have both been reading this, and they think it's really good. So I'm looking forward to this a lot. I am uh, this, this will get read before 2025, I bet. Yeah, this will be read in the next five years. That's how you know a book's exciting to me. Um, this is The Gauntlet Volume 2 for Amazing Spider-Man. Um, volume 1 uh, is was one of those... you got to be careful with these Spider-Man trades. If you don't get them right away, a lot of them can go out of print really quietly, and then they pop up on eBay for $75 for, you know, $18 books. So this is a complete collection type size thick thing and I'm definitely getting it because I barely got the gauntlet before it went out of um, before it went out uh, uh, print. So um, we can uh, rest assured that this will go out of print too. Maybe not as quickly. Uh, you know what? I don't know about that because, well, you, here it is. You never know. So if you like Spider-Man at all, you better get it. Because Spider-Geddon, Zdarsky's Spectacular Spider-Man Volume 1, um, a lot of these trades of Spider-Man go out quietly, um, and you'll be sorry. So if you're at all interested in Spider-Man, you should probably get this. True Lives of the Fabulous Killjoys, um, California-sized edition. I have the... Um, the original one, I don't know why I look at my books when I'm talking about them, like, like it's going to come to me and I'll be able to show it to you. Um, I liked this book when I read it a couple years ago, and it was out of print and very pricey. So this is a good deal um, to get this now. If you like Gerard's way, Gerard Way's writing at all, 
uh, then you should uh, definitely look into it because this I, I enjoyed this book a lot. And it's out there and expensive. And this is an epic Silver Surfer resurrection. Uh, I don't know a lot about it, but I know there are a lot of epic collectors out there. Um, you're probably uh, already knowing about this through Curtis and his uh, great channel and Omar and his great channel. So I assume that uh, you probably already know about this Silver Surfer, but I'm still throwing it out there just so you know that um, Silver Surfer Epic is coming out. And here was, here was, here is Star Wars Age of Resistance. Um, I like these characters, so I'm going to get this uh, hardcover. Um, I, I got the... Um, the middle one, which to me is, of course, the first one, but now it's called the middle one. Um, and I am not getting Age of Stupidity or whatever those first three movies with Jar Jar Binks were. Uh, I am not getting whatever that one's called. But this one interests me, and I'm going to get it because I like these characters. Uh, Death or Glory Volume 2, this is good. This Remenders Volume 1 was really good with Bengal art, and um, I highly recommend this. Volume 1, it was really good, and I'm looking forward to Volume 2. Heroes Reborn, The Return Omnibus. going to be honest with you. I know nothing about this era. Don't know anything going on in it. I know it's popular, though, and I know you guys want to know about it. So here it is. This just was was not an era that I was paying attention to at that time in Marvel. So it's a big blank um, in in my memory banks. Like, you know how bad my memory is anyway. So I, it's even worse with this. I don't think I even read any of it. So, but here it is. It's coming out the week of September 9th. Uh, and <laughs> Outer Darkness and Chu have a crossover. I love Chu and I love Outer Darkness. Don't know how that is going to be um, a crossover. Uh, I believe Outer Darkness has two volumes. Let's ask, no, let's not ask Siri. Siri will goof it up. Um, let's look at Amazon and see if Outer Darkness has two um outer darkness volume two yeah it does have two volumes so um castrophony of hate is its volume two so um i know i have that somewhere i've already got volume one so i will do um uh, a video review of volume one, volume two, and this. I I have no idea how they're going to get Chu crossing over with Outer Darkness. I can't wait to see it, though, because um, I love Outer Darkness. And so that's it for September 9th, the week of. It takes us into September 16th. And it says Marvel Treasury Edition on it. Um, it's really omnibus size. So it's gonna be smaller than those big giant treasuries. I kept those treasuries because I liked them bigger. Um, if that doesn't matter to you, this book is a great book um, for X-Men newbies and experts alike. It does a great job of putting together all of X-Men history in a readable coherent form and that is something to behold because it can be a mess. And this is very well written, very well illustrated, very interesting. I really like this book. Um, I'm going to keep the oversized trades, but it, maybe the omnibus um, will fit in your uh, shelves better than those uh, big treasury editions will. Hawkman. Ah, uh, Hawkman, I'm so sorry you got canceled. You are so good. This is volume three and probably the last one, I would guess, by Venditti. Um, maybe there's enough for a volume four. I don't know. Um, but finally, somebody gets Hawkman right, and they cancel it. So this was really good, and I enjoyed it by uh, Robert Venditti. Um, 
and I'm sorry that that it got canceled. That that bums me out. But you guys should get it. It's really good. Uh, Batman Curse of the White Knight. This is a deluxe hardcover. I read White Knight and enjoyed it. I so, but I haven't read Curse of the White Knight yet. Um, I think I'm going to get it just because I I like um, his art, Sean Gordon Murphy's art, and I thought his writing was really pretty good in uh, White Knight. So, you know, matter of personal taste type of thing. Some people didn't like White Knight. Some people did. Um, I didn't love it, but I didn't hate it. And I was compelled enough to want to get this too, to read it. So you might want to give this a chance. And of course, this appeals to only me. Uh, Omnibus Volume 8 of the Golden Age of Batman and DC. Finish this thing up. Uh, it's 2020. Who knows how much time I got left? I want to see at least the beginning of the Bronze Age of Batman. Let's go. Get going. I want to see the latter half of the Silver Age and the beginning of the Bronze Age. And come on, man. Not all of us are 30 years old out there like the rest of my audience. Some of us are older. Get going on this so I can read it. And The Old Guard, which was a great book, and I haven't seen the movie. I know, I suck. Uh, but this is a book two called Force Multiplied. Um, uh, love Greg Rucka's writing. I mean, I can't say enough about it. Old Guard number one was awesome. This volume is probably going to be great, too. And I got to see the movie. I know, I know, I know. I suck, I suck, I suck, I suck, I suck, I suck. Black Hammer, library edition. Volume two, I, mm, I probably will have to upgrade because this is a library edition. If it was just like an oversized hardcover, I probably wouldn't because I've got all the trade paperbacks. But these library editions are super nice. So, and that look at the design on that thing. That design is beautiful. Um, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to go ahead and get this. Uh, and I urge anybody that hasn't been reading Black Hammer, start at the beginning and get going. It is remarkable, really remarkable. And here's Royal City, uh, Jeff Lemire. It is a um, complete collection hardcover, the complete collection. So I, you know, it's funny, I read it last year and really enjoyed it but I can't remember enough about it to tell you about it, but I loved it enough. I did love it. I remember loving it. I still have it. That's the thing. If I don't love a book now, it gets donated or pitched. So I still have it. I'm not going to upgrade. I think I had three soft covers. Uh, I urge you to read this hardcover though. It's a good book by Jeff Lemire and I don't think it has hockey in it. So it's really good. I really enjoyed it. And that is September 16th. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's September 16th. Okay. That was the week of September 16th. And now we're going into the week of September 23rd, 2020. This is Ben Riley, Volume 2. I don't know if there are two, There may be two covers, and this is the only one I could find. Um, this is totally a period i have no idea what's going on but for you spider maniacs out there um you'll probably want to get this i think ben riley one is out of print so it would make sense for them to reprint it once this is out there um i imagine that will happen uh, i can't say for sure but here's volume two for those of you who uh, dig ben riley uh, Legion of Superheroes, not the final cover, five years later. Um, I, I think this was really popular. It's not a run I read, but it is a run I will read now um, because I love Legion of Superheroes. So I will read it now. It's an omnibus, and it's by Keith Given, and I think I will give it a try. I'd like to see some... I think that's a Bronze Age. So I'd like to see some Bronze Age mentality stuck into that the most perfect Silver Age book ever. So I would really like to, to get this. Uh, Batman by Paul Dini Omnibus. This is a really good book for you guys to get. 
Paul Dini, fantastic writer, uh, brilliant writer. Uh, the the paperbacks and the hardcovers of this, um, there's several of them, several of them. Uh, let's see, there's like Streets of Gotham, Heart of Hush, Private, oh, I don't think Private Casebook is by, oh, it is by Paul Dini. Okay, Private, uh, Detect, Batman Detective, Streets of Gotham, Streets of Gotham, there's a ton of paperbacks and hardcovers, like six, that uh, are really hard to find. And this grabs them all, except for whatever stories that are in the trades that he didn't write. So just have that in the back of your mind that this will be the Paul Dini stories, but I don't think it's going to affect um, the reading experience that much. I'm not upgrading because it took me forever to get those trades and it's hard for me to let go of them. Uh, but if you don't have this, you should get it. It's Paul Dini writes great Batman and then more Batman with the demon trilogy. These are the three stories that came out um, that were graphic novels specifically about uh, his dealings with, Raza Ghoul and uh, Talia and every all the other Al Ghouls uh, there are uh, to be dealt with. So this is for, uh, I think I have the three, uh, Son of the Demon, Bride of the Demon, Groom of the Demon, The Demon's Demon. I don't know what the, I, I forget what the third one is. I think it's Son of the Demon and Bride of the Demon. And then one other one by Mike Barr. Uh, but it was good. I enjoyed reading these. These these were fun. So for the Batman lover out there, these are really good. That was September 23rd. Now we go to the last week of September, and this book looks really good to me. Uh, this is Joe Hill's imprint at DC Hill House Comics, and this is called The Low, Low Woods, and it's a hardcover collection Um I haven't been paying attention to any of these at all be purposely because I want to be surprised when these come out and read them. These are things that I want to read right away. Some of them are supposed to be really, really good. And, and I, the premise for this sounds really good, um, like a haunted town almost with coal mines that have been abandoned and replaced by unholy creatures or something. I, the description just sounded really good to me. And so I think you guys should keep um, this on your wish list and definitely give it a shot. Um, I will I will definitely um, want to get some of these Hill House books together once they're all collected and do a review. Um, and if this is good enough, I may do a review right away of it. So um, uh, give it a chance and take a look at Lolo Woods. And this is the Fables Compendium. Everybody wanted uh, an omnibus or an absolute or something other than a paperback compendium. Uh, volumes four and seven are impossible to find and make it impossible to make a, a whole uh, collection of fables. This is the best you're going to get. So if you don't have fables and you want to read it, which is great, it's one of my all time favorite uh, books and series get the compendiums anyway and just be grateful that you're lucky enough that you're able to read fables i mean really fables is fantastic i love it some people are bummed out because of his political um uh he he moves his political narrative into the flow of the book i didn't even know that until somebody pointed it out uh, and of course, now I can't unsee it. But if you can forget about that, you can you can enjoy fables. And um, it, I love fables. I mean, I really, really love fables. So I think you, um, if you don't have it, you should definitely get it. And this is the big heartbreaker. Cy Spurrier, since issue 300 of Hellblazer, they have not gotten it right at all. Finally, Cy Spurrier gets it right, and they cancel it. 
so I think the best we're going to get is probably two trades. I think they're going to cancel it as of issue 12. When we had him on, um, when Taylor and I interviewed Cy Spurrier, he was all excited for this. He was going to, he said he had so many plans and was going to take him so many places. This really breaks my heart because Cy Spurrier was a great guy. He really understood John Constantine's voice. So I urge you guys to pick this up. This is the first really good John Constantine since the Vertigo days and maybe the Justice League dark of uh, New 52. Maybe, but definitely since, since issue 300 dropped, this is the best Hellblazer you're gonna get. He really has a good voice for him. And it breaks my heart that it got canceled. Here's Umbrella Academy 3 Hotel Oblivion. This is a this is the big oversized edition, but then there's like a oversized edition with a million extras in it. So this is another um, book from Dark Horse that's in a library edition that's really beautiful. And another television show that I need to see. Yes, I know. I suck. I suck. I suck. This is all the last week in... Uh, September, September 30th. Daredevil by Zdarsky, volume four. Uh, this is important for me to buy because that means you'll get it in an oversized hardcover. If I keep buying it in a trade paperback, it gets a hardcover. So you're welcome. This is up there to remind me to buy it, and I will. And same with Monstrous. This is volume five. Um, I have volume four and then the big, beautiful uh, hardcover that she released. Uh, I'm getting this also. So you're welcome. You, I'm sure you'll get a nice oversized hardcover. So good for you. Not for me, though. And here's the last one. Jupiter's Legacy. This is going to be a Netflix show. I... You know, I actually don't know enough about it. If it's, I'm pretty sure it's live action. And I know Mark Millar Miller is um, very uh, controversial. Some of his stuff has is, is so mad, maddening. You want to punch him in the face. It's so uh, revolting and demeaning to women then he'll write something so good. You're like, Oh, this is great. Who wrote this? What? Fucking Mark Miller. How do he write this? And this is one of those. This is Jupiter's legacy and Jupiter circle all put together in Jupiter's legacy one through four. And with the Netflix imprint on there, it's going to be a Netflix show. And I keep looking at my books. I'm looking, I think that I'm looking at, um, the magic, um, book that, uh, is going to be a Netflix show. If it's not a Netflix show already, Magic Order, that's also a really good Mark Miller book. Um, and so is Jupiter's Legacy. I would urge you to check these out. These are really well done with really good art. Um, and uh, see if you can forgive him for all his previous problems. But uh, this is a really good book. Um, and I think that's it. Doink, doink. And shock, no Dawn of X for this month. No Dawn of X. I know. It's amazing. No Dawn of X. Uh, volume 8 comes out in October. Um, so there you go. Uh, if, if I find out anything has been uh, pushed back, redone, added in, or is important, I will pin it to the top of the comments in the comment section. Uh, but thank you for watching. Please uh Give this uh, page a like. Please subscribe. Feel free to comment. And as of course, and as usual, peace and love, peace and love. Thank you for watching.